Time to play with some clay. All right, I'm changing the uh, base I'm putting it on because I want to rearrange the uh, composition. Now, I originally had him like this, which is fine, but everything's going off this subject. The feathers are pointing that way. The... The bottom of the pipe is pointing outside, so it's drawing your attention away from the uh, subject. So I'm thinking of placing it more like this. And this brings everything in. And uh, the only thing is that the, this uh, pipe here is a little close to his shoulder. And I got to keep away from that edge of the board, so I'm going to... But that also makes him look that's better. So tentatively that's the uh composition as of now. And I think it looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start putting the uh, clay inside this border of clay. And this is going to be a bit, as much as I'm going to do on this piece until I get some kind of interest in it. Then I'll continue from that point on. But for now, this is as far as I can take it because, quite honestly, it's going to just join all the other ones up there on my shelf. Waiting for somebody to say, I like that. <laughs> the sad thing is, a lot of these things probably won't be cast up until I'm dead. But that's okay. It'll be uh, my legacy for my children. Yeah, it sounds like I'm defeated, but I'm not. Well, as you can see, my sculpting stand is empty. I found a space to place my uh, latest clay up here between all the other ones that I've got waiting to be cast <laughs> or to be sold. But I just keep producing and that's the love of my life is being able to create something from nothing and filling blank air with something that never was before. All right, today I'm going to be working on her head and trying to finish that up. And as soon as I get that, I'll work on uh, her hands and arms, I think. I don't know.
Okay, I've tilted uh, the clay back so that I can work on the uh, upper part of the head. All right, I'm going to turn off the cameras and uh, work on this. I can't work with the cameras right in front of my face. And uh, I need to be able to get this right. I think you can see what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. So I think that's about all I can do on this because it'll be just repeating all across her head. Be right back. All right, I put the uh, clay upright. Okay, this is the last thing I'm going to do is just uh, touch it up with uh, some Ronsonol and clean up the uh, rough lines and also show me where I have to fill in. You know, there's a couple of holes here and there that need to be filled in and that's what I'll do next time. I'm All in all, I'm <clears throat> happy the way this turned out, the hair. Next time I'll do the ears and uh, we'll go from there. All right, I'm gonna try to finish up this uh, horse's legs today and hopefully the horse itself. Part of the beauty of a horse is the beautiful shape of their legs and their the muscles, tendons. Just a, an amazing animal. Got to do the muscles inside the leg, too. Might as well do that now before I put the muscles on the other leg.
All right, I'm going to attempt to show what I'm doing the best I can. You got to get the bottom of the horse too. I put this piece of foam down so that the uh, clay won't be screwed up by the laying of it on the table here. You can see a lot of holes down here. That's why you really have to work on the bottom part too. Okay, I've got the uh, horses all together. Now, I was originally going to have him on this side, but I don't like that. I'm thinking I need to bring him up to the ground level, the one in the outside, and I think I might just do this, and I'll have to put a piece of wood underneath it to raise it to that level. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot better. All right, I gotta cut this board down in size. I'm gonna lay my horse down. I'll be right back. All right, this is uh, the final design I've come up with. I like it better than I did the other one, but uh, I don't know. I'm just going to have to play around with it. Maybe move this horse back just a little bit. I don't know. It looks kind of bunched up right there. Um, I don't know. I'm going to set it aside for a while and uh, come back with fresh eyes at a point uh, sometime in the near future. I'm, I'm liking the horses, they're fine. I just need to work out uh, how I'm gonna have them and how I'm gonna do the ground and all that stuff. It's gotta be castable. Now, what I'm trying to say is it has to be, uh, you have to be able to cast it in bronze and not make it too complicated because the more complicated it is to cast it, the more costly it will be to the client to purchase it. You can price yourself right out of the market by making it way too expensive. All right. Good night, everybody. Uh, see you next time. Whatever that will be. <laughs> if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.